Do you not know? It's a rhetorical question. Do you not know? Of course you don't know. Have you not heard? Huh? No, you haven't heard. So listen up. The Lord is the everlasting God. The Lord is the everlasting God. The creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. Wow, okay, that's awesome. He gives strength to the weary. Hmm. And he increases the power of the weak. Huh, I've been, I've been weary before, and I've been weak before. So he's going to give me strength, and he's going to give me power. Even your youth will grow tired and weary, and your young men stumble and fall. Yeah, we know that. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. Those who hope in the Lord. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. They will soar on wings like eagles. So they will fly and they will run and not grow weary. So they will run and they will walk and not be faint. Huh, that's odd. You, you first think you would start with walking and then running and then flying. But here it's in reverse order. They're going to soar on wings like eagles. Okay. They will run and not grow weary. Okay. They will walk and not be faint. He ends with the walking and not fainting because that's the reality of life. Maybe a few days in your life you're going to have some high experiences and you're going to soar like an eagle and feel good. But that's rare. Don't, don't expect that. Don't, don't put your hope in that. You, a few days you'll run and you'll, you'll have the energy to run, but you're not going to be able to run every day. But the experience of life is walking. That's where it, the rubber hits the road. And he, God promises they will walk and not be faint. They will be able to hang on to Jesus and not be faint. So Victor, what are you saying? I'm saying hang on to Jesus. Jesus.